What I'm going to do is to look at conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is shown here. If you look at this, it gives a temperature of 12. Now, what we're looking at is what if the temperature goes down, I don't know, to minus 5? What happens when I click onto there is that the color changes so that it goes blue. Now what we want to know is why that happened. Let's change that back to 10. Change that to 10 and see if we can look at that. What happened was when I went up to conditional formatting, that's format and down to conditional formatting, we can see here cell value is, there's the cell, less than zero. If the cell value is less than zero then it's formatted so that the font is bold. What color? I'll make it yellow. The pattern is blue. Put them together and there they are. So when I change the temperature there to minus 10, there it looks a very cold color. Let's go to here and try that again. I've set the temperature to 12. I go up to format, conditional formatting, I'll just clear it up. <coughs> OK, so what have we got? What are we saying? Cell value is less than, and I'm going to zero. If the cell value is less than zero, what does the format look like? Click Format. There's the picture. Well, less than zero would say blue. The font, let's make the font black and bold, so it's going to look like that. OK, when I come to here and I change the temperature to minus 7, you can see that it goes bold. That's conditional formatting. OK, let's go down here. Now here I'm trying something more complicated. What I'm saying is if that is less than 10 then they're underweight. If it's greater than 20 they're overweight. So I'm going to do a nested if statement here. So I click here, go up to the FX click onto there and type I. That takes me to if. So here's my statement. If that is less than 10, then we're going to be underweight. Click down to there. Now you know that you have to go up to here, up to here, to change the if. Right? So if I'm going to nest it, I click onto there. 
So what was it I said? If that was greater than 15, then they're overweight. If not, then we'll just see that figure there. OK, so there it is. Let's OK all of that. Right, so that is underweight. That is overweight. Now let's see if we can make some colour onto this. If you look over here, that's what they've got here. And they've got conditional formatting there. So what have they done in this? They've said if equals, first of all they're going to the formula, if bracket C15 is greater than overweight, then B15, and they give it that. OK, let's cancel that. Come to here. I'm going up to Format, Conditional Formatting, and I'm going to put in the formula. So here it is, a formula. It's equals if open brackets if that I want H15 I don't want absolute H15 H15 equals overweight If not, then G15. Close brackets. Now if that's the case, then I want to go up to there. Make it bold so that it stands out a little more. And then add a colour. I don't know what which colour is overweight. Let's call it blue and call that. So if I OK that, that is saying overweight. What I need to do is to go up to conditional formatting and this time add another condition. The condition is basically that one, copy Let's take it a bit further up. Formula. But this time it's going to say underweight. And when I take that, I have to... If H15 is underweight, then this is what we want. So we want patterns, let's have some red, and font, bold, I don't know, deep blue. Let's go for that. We've got two conditions, overweight and over underweight. So if I now come to there and change that to 8, you'll see that it's underweight. We saw that if it was 17, it was overweight. What if it's 12? Then it shows up as 12. Those are too complex. Now, one ordinary conditional formatting and one more complex conditional formatting. Thank you.